One of the biggest problems that we have in this country, and we're watching uh, Democrats sort of run away from immigration as an issue again. They're terrified. They're uh, in the Senate trying to negotiate um, uh, immigrant and refugee rights away uh, with the hopes of getting uh, Ukraine funding. Um, the, the, there has been such a failure on the part of Democrats to articulate what immigrants actually go through. Because, you know, in, in, yeah. um, and Ronald Reagan made this point not the Ronald Reagan, the, the former president, our, our, Reagan. our caller, Reagan, our uh, caller, made this point that, uh, as an immigration lawyer, that the American public will, in polling, basically support things that are contradictory yep. because of their complete misunderstanding of the ability for people to get here uh, it, it, through our immigration process, the functioning of our immigration process, uh, all of those things that are involved in it. You know, the, the perception is like, the immigrants just come here and they just get free everything. Mm -hmm. And that's the only reason why they come here, as opposed to the reality, which is they're coming from a horrible place. Uh, it, 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 either there's a lot of violence or it's impossible to make uh, any type of living and in, in particularly in many places in the world because of uh, U.S. interference. But put that aside for a moment. But they're coming here to basically do what everybody perceives is like the most wholesome American thing. You know, provide for your family, have a job, become an upstanding citizen. Uh, but yet uh, we don't we don't hear enough about how difficult it is. There's no line. You know, you get back in line. You're talking about 10, 12, 15 years, maybe. And yet, on the right, they can demagogue this stuff. Here is Jesse Waters on Fox with former Trump advisor Stephen Miller, probably the guy, probably, we don't know this for a fact, who uh, is coming up with lines like, if we let in these immigrants, they're going to poison the blood of the country. Yeah. Uh, here he is, uh, despicable. Um, uh, and this, bigot. sorry, this this feeds into my theory that, like, because this is his, he's been doing more cable news hits recently, Stephen Miller. Um, and, and so, like, you know, as we're as we're beginning to see like Trump's kind of white supremacy getting laundered back into the mainstream, Miller's going to try to make himself more front and center. Well, also, yeah, this is the way he's appealing to Donald Trump here. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Biden's close associates are making money keeping the migrant kids in cages. That's right. One of Biden's main guys on his transition team received $600 million to build a migrant kid compound. You see what they're doing, don't you? Biden just privatized ICE. He's sending your money to his cronies like Andrew Lorenzen Strait to build foster homes for the migrant kids he let in. Pause it. We and should tell you that the... Um, privatization of these migrant prisons were, began a decade ago, maybe more. Khaki, I think, is one. I remember CACI. There was a bunch of these things where they would tell their shareholders, we're having a problem because crime is down in the United States. And so we are transitioning into immigrant uh, detention centers. Yep. This has been a long time move. I, I, I don't doubt that uh, there are big contributors for both parties that are doing this, but it is rich to hear uh, Fox News complain about A, privatization, B, imprison, um, and, and C, uh, protection of immigrants. But go ahead. Appear into the hands of family, friends, and foster parents. Biden supporters are making money off open borders. These migrants are just products that you're paying Biden cronies to house in traffic. And if you try to stop it at the source, you're threatening their money. They say you want to kill migrants, but they really mean their cash flow. Let's bring in Stephen Miller. He's the former <laughs> White House senior advisor and founder of America First Legal. I'm telling you, this Fox drone is making more of an impact on the immigration debate than any politician in D.C. is. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a compliment for the drone or a condemnation of right. the quality of our politicians in Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. but you're right. The underreaction from Washington has left millions of Americans looking to the footage that you see on Fox to understand what is happening on our southern border. And you use the right word. We are being conquered. This is a complete resettlement of America in real time. It took hundreds of years, going back long even before our founding, going back all the way to the earliest days of the colonies in America, to slowly build everything that we have. And now when you have millions of people coming in from different cultures. Pause here for one thing. I will say this, like the, um, the resettlement of America is an interesting choice of words here. Um, first off, we have plenty of room. Uh, we need more housing in this uh, uh, country without a doubt. But the drone but footage shows a lot of people. There's a lot of people, uh, but we, we can easily absorb uh, immigrants if we decide to. But the idea that the resettlement, as if, like, wait a second, the, there's a suggestion that maybe these people were here before. Is he he's somehow acknowledging that maybe we well, had sort of like a... Well, they're also just doing, you know, uh, that what what... what white supremacists like uh, Stephen Miller like to do is they like, take the flavor of the, the month or whatever, the accurate descriptions of, that the left are using to identify, you know, what's happening, say, in Israel and Gaza, mm -hmm. um, and then just water it down. In the same way, you know, Biden's doing an insurrection of a sort. Biden's, you know, selling off the country of a sort. And I wanted to find this before we move on. From the ACLU, during the Trump administration, ICE expanded the immigration detention system by over 50%, signing contracts to open over 40 new detention facilities, this expansion overwhelmingly benefited private prison companies, which housed 91% of all people held in detention centers that opened during those years. This is just complete projection. It's super clear where the private prison industry aligns itself with, and they're just pointing to the case that you know i'm sure there are private prisons that also support biden but we know the reality here they're just trying to obfuscate good ways of living in different belief systems they're going to take those belief systems with them to america so a generation from now i am telling you jesse people will not know the country that they are living in these consequences are permanent unless there is massive large-scale deportations by the millions it will be irrevocable well, now I believe two thirds of the country wants deportations. Two thirds, and soon it'll be three quarters, and soon it'll be 95%. The more that people find out what's happening, the more they are crying out, pleading, begging, begging for deportation, which of course is what Donald Trump has promised that he would do if he gets back in 2025. But I think today, there's another significance to today. You talked about it with your previous guest. December 19th will be remembered in history because two things happened today at the same time. We found out that it was the worst day in American history for illegal immigration, the worst day in history. And we also found out the radical left judges said Donald Trump can't be on the ballot in Colorado. So you see a two front attack on democracy. They are saying to American citizens, you can't vote, you don't have a voice, you can't be heard. And they're also saying we're bringing in new people that we think will agree with us and support us and their families will vote for us and they are going to be the new base of power in this country. This is in real time what we are witnessing is the engineered political transformation of this country. And Joe Biden is the ultimate insurrectionist since he is the one who has engineered and implemented this entire scheme okay. of resettlement. Um, so there it is. I mean, there's Emma's like, you know, projection. He, he, he put it all together in like one big uh, mm -hmm. sort of like a, a ice cream sundae. Um, but essentially the substance of that substance, uh, that uh, sundae is the great replacement theory. I mean, that's uh, that's basically it. They've been pushing this for a long time. This is his way of uh, of, of talking to uh, the the you know white supremacist followers. Uh, the reason why he says that Americans need to find out what's going on is because th this stuff genuinely um, does not impact uh, uh, Americans in any way. This is you know more of. Uh, folks worried about their, you know, the caravan and uh, the people coming to uh, take away their Minnesota, uh, you know, uh, summer lake houses. Um, and uh, 
we've seen this demagoguery. We saw it from the Eric Adams administration in New York saying that it was going to cost something like uh, $10 billion uh, extra to, uh, to deal with uh, immigrants, and it turned out the numbers at the end of the year were less than half of, uh, of what they had projected it being. Um, this is this has always been, um, you know, sort of the cri de coeur, as it was, of, uh, of folks who are xenophobes. Yeah. And um, so, I mean, you know, the, the Buffalo supermarket shooter was a great replacement theory believer. Um, and for people that may not know that, it's essentially that the white population is going to be replaced and there's an active effort to um, basically replace them with non-white folks in uh, majority white countries because this country is becoming more diverse by the year. Um, but there's different variations of it, too. And one of them is that it's at the behest of the Jewish elite, the cabal, um, the anti-Semitic, really like deeply vile, you know, when they bring up Soros, they'll often think that Soros is the mastermind puppeteer behind Great Replacement. So when they say for money, when they say that Biden's doing it for money, that's also a nod to that, in my opinion. And understand the reason why they they do that. The the, um, uh, the I mean, this is where the Jews um, sort of like enter into the right. the uh, white supremacist formula. We've said this many times, but uh, you should be aware of it. The way that they justify, like if they both think that they are better than black people, brown people. But that black people and brown people are taking stuff from them and are beating them in some way, in yes. some type of race. The reason why they're able to do that is because the Jews are the ones who are pulling the strings and they're the one uh, pouring the money in exactly. so that that happens. I mean, that's not, basically the... They're uh, not thing. smart enough to do it themselves. You know, it's got to be the, the Jews exactly. as always. Right. 